Hey guys, this is Crowbar Zero, and today we're going over the major changes in version uh, 24, or maybe it's like 0 0.2 form, but regardless, I didn't want to make uh, just a video about, you know, like reading through the patch notes. I actually wanted to go through, actually go into some meat of um, this update now that I've, you know, kind of dabbled in it, I have a better understanding of it and uh, kind of give you my, my take on everything. So um, obviously most people kind of know, they kind of advertised it. There's a couple new tiers. Um, T16 in uh, particular has some new labs. <coughs> um, the major three that are within that T16 are going to be um, the Chain Lightning, the two new app, uh, labs for that. So that's Thunder and then it uh, has some AMP. That's specific to uh, shatter enemies. Um, there's uh, Poison Swamp Rend. There, there's two labs for that. One, it starts off like, oh yeah, you can do this on basic enemies. And then ranged fast. And I think it might even get into some of the uh, elite enemies. I'm not sure quite yet because I haven't dived into that. But it just... That second one just allows more enemies to be affected by this. And it uses uh, your Ren stat to do extra damage. So if you do have something along the lines of a Poison Swamp build, that's really good for that. Um, and then going back, actually, for the, the Chain Lightning Thunder and Amping, obviously it gives kind of like a um, smart missile effect um, on Chain Lightning, but it's only against the Shatter enemies. Um... So it, it makes it a really good tool for taking out those enemies and uh, with some of the other stuff that I'll talk about in a bit. Okay, really good. Um, the Chain Lightning Thunder. That one, basically, whatever damage you do with Chain Lightning or Chain Lightning Plus, it will um, basically decrease that enemies, um, based on the percentage of damage that you do, it'll decrease the, the damage that they can output on you. So very very nice tool, very very late game. Given that it's uh, you just I think it's like some of them are twenty, maybe it's like thirty, fifty, sixty waves in the T sixteen. I think are the unlocks, if I remember correctly, off the top of my head. Um, the other one, the the lower one, that gives you the ability to get more shards whenever you shatter your modules. So that's like your common modules, your rare modules, whatever. Um, that one gets insanely expensive. And actually, you know, I'll, I'll show you guys right now. Like, I, I'm <laughs> saving up. I've got 4,000 gems or so. And this is not even, like, halfway of what I need. Um, come on. Scroll down. There we go. Trying to use the mouse with the scroll down. Sometimes it likes to select stuff. Um, Shatter Shards. Uh, level 5. 132 days. And 1 quintillion coins. It's just, this is mental. They are extremely long. But if you're able to reach that point, some of the, the earlier levels aren't too bad. Um, but level 4 and level 5 are really steep. As far as time commitment cost to to actually get this, um, I think I'm estimating that it's probably going to cost me twelve thousand gems to be able to rush this thing. Um, yeah, it, it's incredibly expensive. So <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so that's that's pretty late into the game kind of uh, ordeal there. You know, we got some bot labs. You can see right here I've got like golden bot cooldown, golden bot duration. Those are cooking. Um, I, I've kind of neglected some of my amp bots. So I'm pushing for that. Big thing is, um, especially for like flame bot, amp bot, you really want that consistency. And I should have Flamebot cooldown in here, but I totally scuffed and did not add that. So, yeah. Um, 
I'll talk about the damage per meter a little bit later. Um, but let's see. In the earlier tiers, I think it's uh, T6 or Tier 6. Um, there's some automation uh, bands and perks that were added. Uh, so now you can ban up to eight perks, I believe. Yeah. Eight perks that you can uh, ban and get off your list and make, make it just a little bit easier to do a run. For me, I'm really hoping soon to be able to, well, I'll have to get the Shatter Lab ones first. But after that, I'll probably rush out the, the level seven so that I can ban uh, orbs during a round. And that'll be super helpful for me. Um, there's also like a, a new auto perk system. So you can basically rank like, oh, I want this kind of thing first. I want this kind of thing second. And then you can just choose, once you like get that really high up, you can just choose auto perk and it would choose the perks similar to, or maybe exactly how you, you know, the criteria that you would choose your perks. It's really good for uh, automation. Um, personally, I'm a little bit of a tryhard, um, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. But uh, <clears throat> I haven't been uh, picking that up quite yet. But um, I'm probably going to after I finish grabbing um, that seventh per perk ban. Um, wall regen, they added... Uh, Basically, you can go up to 300% uh, of your region for specifically for your wall. Really, really helpful. This is actually something that I personally need, especially for the my econ kind of setup. Um, if you notice here how I'm farming, there's a lot of enemies that build up around my wall. And as a result, I'm taking hits, especially in later waves. So having something along those lines will be extremely helpful in just mitigating and keeping up with everything. Mitigating the damage, I mean. Um, I'm going to switch over. I'm going to talk about the ultimate weapon changes on the right side. So uh, one of the big ones that everyone's like drooling over is uh, smart missiles. We now have the ability to get it down to a 20 second cooldown, which is absolutely mental. Like It's, it, it's a great change that allows such more consistency with uh, smart missiles uh, so that they can do the job that they need to do, which is usually boss killing and usually killing tanks and elites. Uh, Death Wave got a really nice utility bonus as far as instead of you, you still have to kill enemies to get the HP bonus to build, but as far as the coin bonus, which for the longest time, I kind of neglected myself, but I, I picked it up eventually just because. Um, now the coin bonus applies when Death Wave hits enemies, and the and the the frequency of the waves that go out are a lot more spaced out. So maybe every two, I'd say every like. So if you send it like wave one, will hit one set of enemies. It'll probably be wave three that's gonna hit a completely new set of enemies. So that actually makes a death wave quantity a lot more of a desirable stat to have down the line uh, for coin gains. Now it's only uh, an 80% boost, but hey, you know, it's it's all about all these stacking buffs. So that, that that's a good um, change, not just for everyone in general, but also for uh, Late game players as well. Um, Chrono Field. <laughs> we got some new uh, speed reduction on that. On Chrono Field itself, you can get it down to 75% slow, um, which I did get. And then if you combine that with a subset, which I don't have, you can get that down to 90% slow on enemies, which is absolutely mental it's fantastic um and, and i'll talk a little bit more detail when it comes to the ultimate weapon plus changes but highly recommend if you're able to get that uh 75 percent budgeted in there it'll be really really nice especially when it comes to knockback conditions 
you know, every extra little moment that you get to be able to delay the enemies will be very, very useful. Damage boost. Oof. So obviously, because smart missile will compound with the amp, the more you've got shooting out, the cooldown really plays a role with that. Um, but to bring all the other ultimate weapons up to pace, kind of similar to smart missiles, we've got major buffs to chain lightning. Poison Swamp, Inner Landmines, like, these, these changes are actually making these a lot more viable. And I really want to put out notably Chain Lightning damage is like, boom, it's, it's big damage when it comes to, to Chain Lightning. I used to think that I had big Chain Lightning damage, and now it maxes out at like, times 6,000, which is absolutely mental. So like you can see my chain lightning, <laughs> I've got a perk right now. So technically I'm probably about like times 500 or so. And um, so yeah, if I had this maxed out, I'd be doing times 12,000 damage. That's nuts. That is absolutely ludicrous. Um, so, so all of the, the upgrades, when I was looking through the, the damage, it seemed like it really incentivized the next upgrade. And it's not just like, eh, it's a small bonus later on. No, it's, it's not quite diminishing returns. It's like, okay, you're going to get your stone's worth. Like, this thing is going to absolutely hit harder whenever you get those upgrades. And that, that applies to all three of those. Chain Lightning, Poison Swamp, and Inner Landmines especially. You know, when it comes to uh, Chain Lightning, you know, I, I talked about the, the amping uh, on Shattered, so that's a really, really good tool to kill those enemies if you're getting killed by them. Uh, look into amping your uh, Chain Lightning Shatter Amp, and then the other one is Chain Lightning Thunder. So what uh, Chain Lightning Thunder does is um, when you hit, uh, you can apply like a 10% uh, debuff up to, I think you can debuff enemy damage by like 90%, which I think is pretty much going to be an essential tool um, to be able to push some of these higher tiers. Now, that's also, you have to do that much percent of that enemy damage. So we've got uh, some rate, kind of, uh, yeah. Some reworks to uh, Chain Lightning Plus, and uh, I'll go into the rest of them since I'm kind of transitioning into Ultimate Weapon Plus changes. Um, yeah, Chain Lightning Plus, now it does a chance to do a percent of uh, damage out of the enemy's health uh, to them. And you can do that up to... Well, and it's related to the wave count, and also, if you do have seen anything that's like just a percent debuff to the enemy's health, um, that will also affect it, and like, you know, kind of balances everything out. So, for like your, your enemies that have basic level HP, that will get allow you up to 55% uh, of... Just after 100 hits, it'll take off 55% of their health. Almost like a plasma cannon uh, for like your more basic enemies. So the enemies that have uh, those hit point thresholds, I'm just going to bring up the enemy dictionary so we can just kind of go over that. <clears throat> you know, basic enemies, fast. Now tanks, they have a lot more health. It's five times. So it's going to be five times less effective um, for tanks. But um, range, they have basic health values, um, bosses times 20 health. So it's going to be even less effective versus bosses. Um, protectors, pretty much uh, that you know little cap at taking off 55% of their health. Um, and then uh, vampires and scatters have times two health, so 
Chain Lightning Plus will be less effective versus these two, but if you've got the amp on Chain Lightning and you've got some good Chain Lightning damage, this will help just shred through uh, scatters a lot faster. But, you know, when it comes to rays, which I've heard a lot of the the really high tier players, I'm talking like maybe top 10 range, maybe top 15, I would say, are reporting that they're dying a lot to rays. So being able to shred off 55% of their life, um, I think is very, very worthwhile to, to eventually look into. Um, we've got a buff to Chrono Field Plus, and what that does is it will spin enemies around. I think it's kind of like it uh, changes their their direction effectively, so or the basically their approach vector, I guess, is the best way. So instead of going straight at you, maybe it'll be like a ten degree shift, twenty degree shift. And it, you know, basically it'll effectively slow the enemy down, but also spin them into something like Black Hole. So right now I'm farming at pretty minimal range, and uh, but if I expanded that range, uh, my Black Hole is not going to cover everything. So it would help spin enemies into Black Hole. You know, obviously that's not going to affect... Um, I mean, it does, if I remember, it does spin bosses and elites... You're just not... Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I was getting sidetracked by something else. Um, so, really, really good. Uh, especially for bosses, it seems like it allow orbs to hit bosses a lot more frequently. So if you're having problems with bosses doing damage to you, look into uh, a really high investment into Chrono Field Plus so that your orbs are hitting the bosses a lot more frequently. Uh, I've seen some crazy screenshots of like 80% and some people are reporting like maybe even like 96% of their damage is coming from Chrono Field just keeping the enemies in uh, your orb line. So it's 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 absolutely insane. <clears throat> but that, you know, orbs aren't going to affect your elite units. So... You're not getting a whole lot of change there, other than maybe a slow on vampires and uh, scattered enemies. Spotlight Plus. I, you know, I think this, is, this one is actually like a little bit of a hidden gem. It's kind of hard to, to math out some of the stuff, but just from looking at it, I think most players, if you had a uh, you know, pretty good investment into your damage per meter... You could be looking up to maybe like times four to times five of your damage. That's globally. Um, which is not great, not bad. Um, but overall, the farther away enemies are going to be away from your tower, you're going to be basically doing a lot more damage against. So if you're using like chain lightning against enemies that are far away, Chain Lightning is actually going to get a nice little buff out of that. But if it's, you know, closer, if the enemies are right on your tower or right on your wall, it's not going to be quite as effective. I, st I still feel like, for me, when I'm farming, I feel like I'm feeling some of those changes. Like, I'm still getting a little bit of a buff. But, um, yeah. And, and I've got uh, level 5 Spotlight Plus. Um, originally, just... To be able to shoot enemies in black hole, which is no longer what it does. It's just a, a buff to damage in spotlight based on distance. Um, so if you do have spotlight plus, investing in your damage per meter is really good. The downside is earlier this week I was testing out some stuff. And I realized that uh, the substats are only affected by your workshop plus. So your labs... Your uh, relics that may um, increase your damage per meter, those are not going to affect um, any bonuses from your substats. But for the base value of like the workshop itself, uh, they'll still apply there. Um, Black Hole Plus, 
it used to consume enemies. Like, they would come in and it would just eat a couple of units. And everyone's having a great day. Now, basically, at the very end of its duration, it sends out, like, a damage burst um, based off a percentile. And, unfortunately, it's kind of counterintuitive because now we got some more duration labs to help it last longer. But if you have a longer black hole, then your black hole plus is not going to be, you know, blasting that percentile damage nearly as often. So... As far as that ultimate weapon plus, I think it's kind of been nerfed a bit. Um, hopefully it gets reworked in the future. And then there was a little bit of a debuff to uh, Golden Tower. Um, I was hearing some stuff along the lines of it might not be... It, it's only going to track kills based on new spawns. So if you have a big group of enemies... It's not going to be tracking that for the GT+. Plus. You'll still be getting the coin drops. It's just it's not going to be applying um, extra modifier for those kills. So you're definitely pushing for even more duration for uh, GT+. Plus. Other things. Um, so it looks like there's been a bit of a crackdown on some players some people that were pretty high up i don't know what's going on if there's like a new anti-cheat feature or if maybe some of the staff is starting to prune through um just basically looking at the top and going down the list and saying you know like hey is this person possibly cheating so be really careful i think i, I haven't heard anything from like people below top 100 but if somebody's cheating um, don't in the first case but uh, if you're within like the top 100 I would say that you may have a target on your back as far as the the devs and just the support staff in general uh, possibly looking at your account so don't cheat um, You'll probably get banned because uh, people are getting banned right now. Um, death wave rework. So in the patch notes, there was a note about that there's going to be some sort of rework to death wave. Um, I think the the changes right now were in the positive direction. It makes it a lot more frame, frames per second friendly. The spacing out and the coin bonus on the hit has been like a huge bonus. I don't know what they're going to do to Death Wave. I'm hoping that it's kind of along the same lines as kind of the, what they're doing already. But they said that they're going to be looking at Death Wave and doing something with it. So, yeah. Uh, something maybe coming on that. Uh, there was a post by FUDS uh, replying to somebody that it sounds like in the next version of the game... They're go going to be looking at a possible reworked attorney. So I put question marks there because it's like, okay, they're going to be looking at it. And I know a lot of players have suggested uh, a system partly based off merit, you know, in addition to kind of like the already bracket kind of setup. So they're, I think, I hope, as far as those tournament changes it'll be a little bit of half and half of between the merit of, oh, hey, I achieved these, you know, really high waves. I can get maximum stone credit for that. And then the other half of it would be from, you know, how did you place, which I'm, I, I'm crossing my fingers that everything works out really, really nicely. I, I think it probably will if they do this. And I think everyone will be a lot happier. Um, but we'll see. You know, we, we don't know. Usually right now in this period, uh, they're catching more on like, okay, we're going to hit up all these bugs. We're going to fix those. And then we're probably going to take like a, a, I think it's usually like a three-week break or something like that. And then they'll come back and they'll be working on the next version. So they're still in the working out all the, the bugs currently. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how things pan out as far as that. Um, there is a new web store 
And I'm just going to pop that up so you guys can see that. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. I guess originally this was released because there were a lot of complaints that people wanted to... I'm just going to call it Whale Club. Um, but, but kind of there was... People were allowed to buy a certain amount of packs from FUDS, the dev. And I, there was enough complaints where people wanted to buy more stones, but they couldn't. And so I think this was a move to just be like, okay, we're done with the, the backroom stuff. If you guys want to buy extra packs, here's my separate store here. And that just got released. So, um, and you can also give stuff to, to people. So, um, uh, nudge, nudge. If you want to uh, support me in game, uh, I'll leave my player code in there if you want to gift anything to me. <laughs> um, but other than that, um, I did talk a little bit about bot labs. I, I, I totally forgot and skipped over this. Uh, bots. Huge change to bots. So quick and dirty of it is uh, coin bot or golden bot is an absolute beast. If you can dump all your metals into that, and nice even spread, I would suggest, um, so you get a little bit more consistency and uptime, and you know a decent bonus, good coverage with your range. Um, that is probably the best place to dump your metals. If you look at my um, coins per uh, minute right now, they're absolutely insane, and that is 100% because of the changes to coin bot. I would have a problem trying to breach one trillion uh, a milli minute, and in this version, I've been occasionally hitting up to 4.5 uh, trillion a minute. Like it, it's absolutely mental. Absolutely, invest as much as you can into uh, a coin bot or a golden bot, um, and then for the other three. Flamebot initially looks really, really nice. Unfortunately, the damage reduction is currently not functioning. Um, but I think everything as far as like the idea and design concept, I think that one is in a really good spot once they fix that bug. And that might be actually something to, to look into. And, and I'll kind of show you what uh, my setup right now is. So you know that I'm just not talking out of my butt. Um, And unfortunately, some of these metals were dumped into Flamebot before I knew that the damage reduction was not working. Um, but you're really going to want a very large cool or very large range and the minimal cooldown as possible. And so I'm kind of stuck right now, limited by my labs. But uh, eventually, I'm going to get this down. So I think it's like every three to five seconds or something like that that this thing is going off. So you're going to get that damage reduction. Once it's working, pretty reliable. Thunderbot, it used to be called Stunbot. It no longer stuns anymore. It's just a slow effect. So any enemies that are caught within him, initially they hit with 100% slow. Ramifications of that, is, the big one is raise. So raise, it would interrupt them. So then they would have to spool up their, their animation all over again. So it was an amazing tool for, for combating raise. Now they're, it's kind of like Golden Bot, and I just, yeah, it's just not in a good place. After it ends, you get like a, I think it's a 50% reduction to their speed, or, or no, 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 sorry. Um, there's a certain amount of time for the linger, and I think that's affected by labs, and then the, the linger percent I think is like the slow. So go from like 100% no movement to now just a 20% debuff, unless I you know, invest some more metals in it. Not a good spot for Thunderbot. As I mentioned before, Golden Bot is an absolute beast. Antbot, you know, it comes with the, the big issue with consistency, I feel. Yes, the, the bonus to damage is really, really nice, but you've got that downtime so like right now, I've got about uh, 30, 
3.5, if I'm mathing this correct, in cooldown. And during that time, your tower is a lot more vulnerable to, to being hit by enemies, just basically overcoming your, your damage and your, your defense. So it's nice to have. If you, it, basically, if you're kind of in the same boat where you bought every single event pack at this point, you, you could probably have something like this. If you have not bought every single event pack, I would say just dump everything in Golden Bot. Like, this thing is just, it's awesome. I think it's where Golden Bot needs to be. Flame Bot is about, once it's fixed, should be pretty much, I, I would recommend this. Amplify Bot, I think they still need to do some changes on that. It should be more consistent because that lack of consistency puts your tower at danger. And at that point, it's like, why do you even have this bonus? You know, at that point. And as I mentioned, Thunderbot. Um, and then uh, December. So I, I put that in there. I kind of want to make an announcement early. Uh, so my plans are, and why I haven't been posting as many videos, or just about nothing at all, um, I've moved into a new place. There was all the unpacking, and we'll, you know, mo actually moving into a house, our first house. Um, there's a lot of repairs that need to be done on this place. You know, a lot of pretty much all the housing in the area that's on the market, some flipper got, and they did stuff too. And some of the stuff is okay, and then some of the stuff is absolute poop. So I've been kind of rushing, trying to, to put out the, the big fires as far as like what, what are really bad problems, like not working dishwasher. I learned how to repair that myself. Um, there were some gaps in the, the roofing that uh, I had to seal up. There were some trees that were banging on the roof and uh, damaging the roof. I had to fix that. And then just, you know, all the unpacking in general. But for the most part, I'm starting to transition out of that. I got most of the, the heavy lifting done, so that'll be good. And there was also a lot of, you know, costs involved. So the, the sewer line was plugged in, or plugged up, so that needed fixing. Um, there was mold that was really expensive. Um, so yeah, put me back uh, financially a bit. But uh, going forward, everything should be looking a lot better. And I figured by the time that I'm in a better financial spot to do this, it'll probably be about December, Christmas, and I'm hoping to do something along the lines of maybe a 24-hour stream on YouTube. Maybe it'll be on Twitch. We'll see what happens there. And then um, I'll probably put something out on YouTube, and whoever comments... I'm just going to, on that video, I'm going to go through and basically random draw some winners kind of thing. And anyone that wins that will get a um, no ads pack. And I, I wanted to go for the no ads pack specifically because I think that's the biggest bar for people to enjoy the game. However you decide to play it, that, that's like the first major bar because those ads just feel like absolute cancer. Like, they suck. Um, so I'll try to figure out something along those lines to make that happen. I don't know how many I'll be able to do and if it's just going to be strictly on my YouTube channel or if it's going to be also on the Tower Discord. Well, we'll, we'll see. I, I don't know yet how that's going to pan out. But I'll probably be doing a giveaway of some sort of no ads pack over in December. Um, so yeah, keep me on uh, the radar as you can subscribe to the channel and just kind of keep tabs on what's going on. I, I should probably start saying this uh, going forward that um, you know obviously the newer videos are going to have a lot more relevancy than the older videos. So kind of keep track on that, and I'll also. I'll try to keep the content not just reading patch notes. Just trying to give you the juicy stuff. You know, because that's that's what people want to know about. You know, that's why I just had a couple of people ask me, hey, could you help me out with my account? And I went through and I was like, hey, why don't you switch uh, how you're doing this here? 
and uh, you might be able to triple, quadruple the, the coins that you're making, uh, maybe even progress uh, better in uh, tournaments as well. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll catch you guys later, and I hope you have a wonderful day.